well yes it is one of my favorites and probably one of the most spectacular males that we've seen here at Juma look at the size of those tusks they are huge now I think this must be the male that's been in must that has been giving the girls a hard time because I know Taylor and Ali were telling me about a male elephant that's been a bit of a handful over the last few days that's been in heavy must now I can see from his back legs that he has been in must you can see they are slightly darker on the inside than they are on the outside so it does mean that he could be he's not leaking too much from his temporal glands and you can see he's just having a really nice drink while we're sitting here so at this stage he's actually being a gentleman and being very well behaved now hopefully he won't be full of nonsense I did notice as we pulled up that he stopped drinking just to give me the little eyeball and just to see hang on a second who are you coming up but you can see now he's perfectly relaxed and that is a magnificent specimen of an elephant like I say look at the size of those tusks down here in this part of the park in the sort of southern part of the Kruger we don't get very big elephants at all we get sort of well in terms of tusks we get very large bodied elephants but most of them have quite small tusks whereas this guy has got nice long ones and this is probably one of the biggest tuskers that we have down in the southern section if we had to go up into the northern parts of the Kruger Park you'll find there the elephants have much longer tusks and thicker tusks than what we see down here and it's probably due to the nutrition that they get in the plants that they feed off that causes an acceleration in the growth of those particular teeth as well as the genetics that are in that area so in a particular section between sort of Lataba and Mapani which is the central to north part of the park that's where you'll see the really big guys and at the moment actually well Kruger used to be famous for seven big tuskers called the sort of um, magnificent seven and they were all elephants that were over 100 pounds that genetic was kind of lost a little bit through poaching and varying other things but now we've got a whole bunch of emerging tuskers that are starting to appear and starting to come out and they really are some spectacular individuals a lot of them are quite young bulls but they've got really big ivory and it looks like they'll start becoming those hundred pounders that we've seen in the sort of time gone by all right now let's see what he does because I think he's decided to finish his drink and let's see if he starts coming and meandering over to us so Paige you say what a beauty well I can tell you now he is one of the most beautiful animals that we've seen here he is massive big front legs big head and then those beautiful symmetrical tusks that come down now this is also another interesting thing about this in an elephant is that his tusks are almost identical you see look at the length of them from a side on point of view they're sort of the same length you can see there is a grass notch on the end of the right tusk so the right tusk is slightly longer than the left at this stage but that little piece is going to break up eventually and they'll be then exactly the same but they also the shape of them is very similar you can see how both tusks sort of bend at the same point so it's unusual to see often you'll find with these tuskers is one tusk tends to be a lot bigger and longer than the other one and this is a sort of very kind of cool example of a very very symmetrical identical tusk now look how he's resting his foot and smelling us at the same time so this is all sort of behavior that he's trying to put us off guard he's almost trying to say I'm not really worried about you I'm just resting but in actual sort of in the reality of what's going on is he's watching and he's smelling and he's working out are we a potential sort of threat or something that he needs to show that he is dominant over you can also see look how he's leaking from his temporal glands so in the time that we've been here that is what has started to gush out of him when we first arrived there was no sign of that whatsoever and now as we've sort of sat here it started to come out but look at how he's got that typical big male swagger about him you know, his kind of ears bounce from side to side and open he really is a magnificent individual now you're going to go behind that bush so Francis you're wondering why he's alone well Francis it's because he's a big adult male elephant now big adult male elephants like this 
do spend most of their time on their own. You'll sometimes see them accompanied by younger males, but for the most part, they spend their lives as solitary individuals. It's only when a female comes into heat and when they're in a must situation like he is now that he'll actively search out females. And even then, they, when they do find a female that's in heat, they'll mate with them and they'll try and leave that herd as quick as possible because of the fact that they don't really actually want to spend too much time around the herd. It moves too fast. How are you going to be full of nonsense? Oh, look at that. Hello, big boy. Yes, you are the boss, I know. And this is very typical. When an elephant gets to a higher point than what you are, often he gets a lot more kind of sort of feeling that he can dominate you and they'll often use that as a way to assert themselves they know that it makes them appear larger and so him being up there is definitely making himself look a lot bigger but isn't he a magnificent specimen wow now this is not a bull elephant that you would want to sort of follow too closely behind he's an animal that while he's not in any way being aggressive to us he is short he's showing signs that he's wanting to dominate us and that where we are he's happy with but he doesn't want us any closer than that the fact that he keeps stopping and smelling in this direction this sort of head shake every now and then those are all indicators to us that he knows that we're here and he's happy with where we are but he also at the end of the day will dominate us if we got any closer so when you're with musk bulls, you need to read their body language a little bit differently. You can't allow him to be in the same proximity as what we would have seen from those other Ellies this morning. The young males being right up near us. And even though they had that sort of bouncy swagger coming down the hill, know full well that a young male <clears throat> is not going to follow through on that. He's going to be very intimidated by us standing our ground. Whereas a male like this would have no second guesses to be able to just roll us around. So with the big males like this, you tend to try and be a little bit more respectful and allow them their right of way. And as long as you do that, then you shouldn't have any issues whatsoever.